Hi, I'm Peter Knight, a master professional with the PGA of Australia and one of the coaches at Yarraband Golf Course in Melbourne. We've already talked about the setup for chip shots and now what I want to do is talk you through the stroke itself. When you set yourself up, one of the things that I mentioned was that you're looking to have your balance slightly on your left side. Now what that should do is promote a slight descending blow. Now it will help to promote a slight descending blow provided that you don't use your hands. Now if we look at the chip shot uh, as a whole, when I set myself up and swing the club back and through, I'm looking to move the club mainly with my body. Now this is quite a departure from what most players look to do. Most players want to control the club with their hands. Controlling the club with your hands is likely to lead to tears. It's not a good way to, to um, work with your chip shots. So when I set myself up and swing the club back and through, essentially I'm allowing my left arm and the shaft to act like a pendulum. With a very short shot, there will appear to be virtually no movement in my wrists whatsoever. However, my wrists aren't tight, they're not stiff, I'm not holding the club hard, which means that when I swing the club back and through, I might have a slight amount of play at my wrists as I swing back and through, but even watching on the camera there, it's almost imperceptible. But I can feel that there's a small amount of movement there. So when the club swings back and through, there's a tiny little bit of movement with my wrists back and through. Now the other thing you'll notice, even as I make those practice swings, is that my body is moving and it should move during the stroke. At address, my balance is on my left foot, my body turns away from the target and then swings back and through without disturbing my wrists. Now the only way that I can swing the club back and through without using my hands is if my body is unlocked and in fact my body leads the swing. But my body movement is pretty much just like a spinning movement. Here's a drill. It's a little advanced, but it's good drill for you to practice where you can set yourself up and with one hand swing the club back and swing the club through. Now in doing this drill, initially without a golf ball, the things that you're looking to check for are that when the club swings through, there's been no flip with your wrist, there's been no pull of the club head through, your arm doesn't leave your body as you swing through, the club just swings back and through. And it's almost like the turning of my body carries my arm and my club. So practice that a number of times both without a ball and with a ball and see how you go. If there's any feeling of manipulation with the left hand, you'll find that you'll have tremendous difficulty with that drill. We can also do that one-handed drill with your right hand. So when I set myself up with my right hand, as the club goes back and through, what I'm doing is I feel like I'm transporting my right arm and the club with my body turned so that when I get through to the finish of my swing, there's really been no change in the, in the slight bend in my right elbow and the bend in my right wrist. So as I swing through, if I've got any movement with my hand, if my arm swings straight, the movement hasn't been done correctly. So again, it's almost like my body movement back and through is transporting the club as I make that movement. So practice both left hand one hand and one hand right handed. Here's a really important component about the way that the club moves with a chip shot. I've got a couple of alignment rods on the ground here and they're lined up toward my target. When I set myself up, the bottom end of my shaft appears to be pointing to or touching this line running between my ball and my target. That line running between the ball and the target is called my target line. When I set myself up, even though my feet are aiming slightly to the left of the target, I want my part, the path of my club to trace a line along those alignment rods. So as the club goes back, the bottom of my shaft is tracing a line along here. As the club swings back to the ball, it's tracing a line still along the target line. And even after I've struck the shot, 
the club has traced a line along the yellow alignment rod there. In other words, when I swing the club back and through, the path of my club is always pointing to that target line. If I do that, I'm going to have pretty good control of the shot. When I set myself up, you'll notice my stance is not aimed straight at the target. So as I said before, it's aimed slightly left of the target. And here's the reason why. If I aim my feet to the right of the target, then when I swing the club toward the target, I'm actually swinging the club toward my body as well. So as I continue to swing through, that's going to give me a very cramped feel as I swing the club. If I'm aiming my feet slightly to the left of the target, then as I swing the club through, my club is moving effectively away from my body a little bit so that when I swing the club through, I've got plenty of freedom. If I have that freedom, I'm less likely to either use my hands or have to use my hands. And of course, during the stroke, we want to have as little hand manipulation as possible. So in a nutshell, when I'm playing the shot, my balance is slightly on my left side, my feet are aiming left of the target, ball's in the center of my stance, and when I swing back and through, my club is traveling along that target line there. If I do that and practice these shots very regularly, checking my setup, checking my stroke, my shots are going to get better, and the same will occur for you. In the next video, what we're going to do is have a look at strategies, and even though I've used one club here, you can actually use different clubs, and we'll talk about why you would use different clubs in different situations, and what the base strategies are, how you go about thinking about the shots you should be playing around the green.